Did you know that no one has ever changed the world by doing what the world has told them to do? Hi, that's me, Lewis Stone, and today I'm going to be telling you why 2021 was the toughest year of my life. But first we need to rewind a little. I started this channel back in 2018, and I only ended up uploading 5 times in that year, but in 2019 I started to upload a lot more to YouTube. Mostly uploading 2 or 3 times per week, and they started off as gaming videos, but then transformed into funny videos of my friends, and also starting to do vlogging. After a brilliant year, I ended up making a video about why 2019 was the most important year of my life. My YouTube grinding continued into 2020, still making frequent videos with my friends, doing funny pranks and silly vlogs. Then of course, the lockdown happened, and that changed the course of my content, and also the colour of my hair. I only uploaded once a week during the lockdown, which then turned into once a month, and that's when I made a video about why 2020 was the craziest year of my life. So how the hell was 2021 the toughest year of my life? Let's answer that. After taking a month's break from YouTube at the start of 2021, I uploaded my first video in February, and it was a football video featuring Fugs Nation, who I became very close with throughout 2021. Okay, so I am here with Navesh, or NN77, part of the uh, Fugs Nation YouTube group, man. So I've got three yeah. questions for Navesh to answer. So yeah, what are you planning mm -hmm. on doing in your future? And was YouTube ever going to be a part of it? For me, in my future, obviously, I want to become a, I want to become a professional football player. Yeah. Hopefully, in Europe one day. But I'm just working towards that. Um, I work almost every day. And yeah. Like, I just do whatever I can. Why was the reason you stopped uploading on the Fugs Nation channel? Was that because like the uh, lockdown and stuff? Um, no, actually, I started because of lockdown. Yeah. So, um, initially, um, Fox Nation was supposed to be something that uh, we did as a group with my friends. After a while, like, you know, because like most of them are in the final year of their school. Yeah. So, it, it got harder for them. In the end, we just wanted to have some fun with it. And I think we might continue in the near, in the near future. Who knows? All right, cool. What was the okay. toughest thing you had to deal with this year? It's been so tough, like, this year. Because a lot of the lockdown, as the lockdown in Malaysia is actually really bad. Like especially when you when you were in Malaysia and you went back, I, I we couldn't say a proper goodbye and with your brother Reese as yeah. well and so many other people yeah. who went back to their home country, couldn't see them and then football was postponed for nearly. I, I basically this this year I think I had more time off than playing football on the pitch. Like I mean I've been training by myself when lockdown and all that. The toughest thing is that. I have um, I have uh, I have a friend who is in host uh, who is in a hostel, and I can't see them because um, because of certain school rules and all that, and they can't come out of the hostel and all that. So oh. I would say that's 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 one of the hardest yeah. things because since last year we never see each other. Yeah, that must suck, dude. Yeah. I couldn't go back to uploading frequently though, as I had a lot of exams coming up within those next few months, and I didn't have time to create videos whilst also trying to do the things I loved, and of course, revising for those exams. After those mock exams though, I created a Q&A, as I wanted to make at least one video per month, just so I could stay connected with all of you. During this time, life wasn't all that bad. For those past six months, due to me not uploading as much, it gave me more time for me to do my own stuff, by hanging out with friends, practicing my football, and of course, a lot of other stuff. I wasn't as stressed at this point, and that's why life was going great for me. Then, in April, after three years of dedicating a lot of my own time to creating content to entertain many people, a doorway opened, and I began to go viral on TikTok. This was absolutely crazy for me, as I had tried for many years to go viral on social media, it had finally happened. I didn't want this to be a one-time thing though, so I began grinding hard on TikTok, uploading free videos per day, and I was getting tons of views. I noticed that many of my viewers were from Malaysia, and this was due to me being in Malaysia at the time, so I decided to make a few videos about Malaysia. And even though I made a few mistakes with my pronunciation, people still loved it, and I managed to get half a million views on those videos. I'm here with the Enhancer, or also known as Hayden. How did it feel restarting your YouTube channel this year? Is it better than how it was before? I think it's definitely better than how it was before. Definitely my thumbnail and editing yeah. styles, they've only changed and they've definitely gotten better. I can put 
more effort into it. But yeah, I have also changed my genre at least three times this year. So you have indeed, man. <laughs> What's been the highlight of 2021 for you? Getting a girlfriend. Twice. <laughs> nice! <laughs> <laughs> What's changed the most in you since 2020? I feel like my hair. It, it was like this, and then it went to this, and now it's like this. Yes, your hair. Same, my hair's changed quite a lot. I've got a question for you, Louis. <gasps> Due to all this popularity I was gaining, I really wanted to figure out a way to bring all of my fans together. So that's when I created a new Discord server and I left an invite for many of my fans and loads of them joined. Even though I had exams coming up, I could still work on videos as I was able to balance my time well by making videos, having fun and of course still studying for those exams. This was due to me being on study leave. As COVID had caused all my exams to be spread out over two months, I had a lot of spare time time on my hands. I then spent a long time growing on TikTok and YouTube, whilst also meeting a lot of my fans on TikTok within my Discord server and becoming friends with some of them. Just like I said last year before the lockdown, life was going great for me and I was having so much fun, due to me not having to worry much about school, going viral on TikTok, meeting new people, improving my football skills, but I knew that soon. It would hurt to stop. That all happened in June, when the doorway for me closed and the path ended. I had to leave home, go back to Europe, and try to continue on with life there. This was heartbreaking for me after everything I had done. Grew my fan base, met amazing people, and was having fun with my life. I had to leave that all behind. I promised myself that that would never stop me from growing on TikTok and making videos to entertain people. Unfortunately, as the majority of my fans are from Asia, I stopped appearing on their FYP on TikTok and I stopped getting those views and followers. I'm here with um, XL Hazza or Harris. He's got a cool YouTube channel, amazing animator. What were your main goals for 2021 and did you succeed in doing them? So my main goal was uh, probably be to get to 1000 subscribers, which I have yet to uh, complete. I'm I'm, I'm 25 off. Did anyone slash anything stop you or set drawbacks when trying to make your content? Yeah, actually, there was a um, this sort of thing called COVID. Yeah. I'm not sure if you heard about it. If we're talking about people, then not really. Uh, I've actually uh, made a lot of uh, friends. Uh, you know, Fluth Animations, uh, Staria987. Uh, the community has been very supportive this year, and I appreciate that. What are your goals right. for 2022, YouTube-wise? And if you liked anything else more personal, you can. The obvious thing would, again, be to, the, to get to the 1,000. Because we're so close already, we might yeah. have to go that on the list. Um, but uh, another big one is that um, this isn't so much a goal, it's just it's just a project that I want to get finished. I cannot disclose too much, uh, but it may or may not be an hour long. I have a series called Virus. The last installment of that series uh, was Neighbours Part 1, which was a part one of two. And I've been so scared to try and come back to it. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't feel like I can live up to what I have in my head. That's cool, man. Yeah. So we got like a movie kind of thing coming, an hour long maybe. I can call it a movie, but yeah, sure. That's what gets me views. Sure, it's a movie. I didn't want my life to revolve around my TikTok, so I made sure that my summer of 2021 was the best it could be, despite leaving a lot of important stuff behind at the start of it. I took the time to continue posting YouTube videos and also improving my Discord server a lot. As the summer went on, I got my exam results back, and to my surprise, I actually done that very well which made my summer a little better but when I got to September it was finally time to start regular life here for the next two years I still wanted to try and make content for all of you so I still made some videos on YouTube and TikTok but it was hard for me as I was still missing home over this time though my discord server kept improving and that's when I met a lot of cool new people that I chat with daily the moderators in my server have also put a lot of their time into it using my server daily so shout Shout out to you moderators. Okay, so I have some of my Discord server moderators on cool with me right now and I'm going to ask them a few questions. So yeah, let's go. Okay, so I am here with um Simon Zhuang. What is the best thing that's happened to you in 2021? Best thing that happened to me is when I joined the Discord. Everyone is amazing there. Probably being moderator on your server. What did you spend most of your time doing in 2021? Yes 
spend most of my time gaming because lockdown, yeah. Asleep. Playing games sometimes. If there's one thing you'd improve about the Stoners Discord server, what would it be? Oh yeah, I actually plan it to do a lot, man. Uh, it's a secret from far for for now. I guess getting more things in it, like some channels, because why not? It make it better. College work is tough, and even though it has limited me to doing some things I love, I need to do it no matter what, as it'll pay a big role for me in 2022 when I apply for university. I remember saying to myself right before I left Malaysia that no matter what, I'll never be gone for good. Many of you are probably wondering why, and that's a good question. The three years I spent there were for sure the greatest three years of my life. New experiences, new people, and a new me. It brought out the best in myself. Okay guys, so I've got a few questions questions um, for a mini q and I'm going to do as I've asked a lot of other people questions but I think I need to answer some questions as well. Was 2021 better than 2020? I think that 2020 was the slightest bit better even though a lot of crazy and cool stuff has happened for me this year such as like um, TikTok fame. I don't want to base it on just like my media life, I just want to base it on my like actual life if I'm having fun. The last four months of 2020 for me were amazing. From like August to December, those were the best months of my life in 2020. That was the vibes, man. That was the best. What is the best thing that's happened to you in 2021? Definitely one of them has to be like going viral on TikTok. It started encouraging me to make more content again, you know, and it was just nice having something to do within those like two months of like April, May. It was quite enjoyable, you know, watching myself get new followers every day. What was the best year of your life? Obviously, good and bad things happen in every year. Definitely the best year has to be 2019. 2019 was literally like the last good year this world had. And looking back at it now, like that summer of 2019 was just amazing. Got to go to New Zealand, done. I, I changed my content up a lot, you know, from gaming to vlogging. So it gave me a lot of new stuff to do, especially like dares in the mall. I I guess it was just like, I mean, I got to do what I love most, make a fool of myself in public. Are there any series you'd like to continue in 2022? Definitely my new series, the reactive series, where I just react to some videos, and it's just funny, like five minutes or so. So yeah, I definitely continue with that. Not too sure what else I continue with. Comment down below what you want to see me continue with in 2022, and I'll make that happen. What are your goals for 2022? Find a university continue grinding, and hopefully get good grades in college. No matter what happens in the next two years, I'll use everything I've ever learned to get back home, and I'll work my ass off if I have to. So that's why everyone, 2021 was the toughest year of my life!